it's quite well known that sleep is important for many reasons. Now, we all know that we need sleep to regenerate our body, bodily energy and for rest. We all know that we secrete most of our testosterone at night during sleep. Now, this mostly occurs during REM sleep, rapid eye movement sleep. Um, REM sleep is very important for testosterone. Now, disruptions to sleep... Uh, sleep deprivation where you're not getting enough sleep and many other things can ruin REM sleep which can cause lower testosterone levels, increased stress, um, affect your mood and your physical performance. Now we all know already that optimum sleeping time per night is between seven and nine hours. Now the idea of this video is to cover something that is often neglected when it comes to considering the effects of sleep. And that is the importance of, of REM sleep and the importance of establishing a natural circadian rhythm which is hardwired into us by nature, our planet and our natural environment. Now it's, impo it's possible to be getting between seven and nine hours of sleep as prescribed by sleep experts but if you're not getting enough REM sleep this can have a negative effect. Now, sleep is when we practice our real healing and recovery time. If your batteries do not get rechar recharged properly, you will wear down quickly, get sick and grow older much quicker. Now, many guys are now into looks maxing and sleep is absolutely vital to maintaining a healthy, vibrant appearance. You know, and I have a healthy vibrant appearance um, apart from you know a, a couple of studio lights in on the sidelines you know this is all natural there's no artificial intelligence trickery fakery or fuckery on this channel now um, your body has natural rhythms that are in line with earth and with sunlight our body releases most of our hormones during the hours of natural darkness so we need to ideally be asleep at these times for this to be happening. Now going to bed later and merely sleeping in for longer after sunrise will not make up for that. We are hardwired by nature to be asleep early and to awaken early with the sun. Sleeping at times that are outside of this natural rhythm can harm REM sleep. Now, I've worked night shift before and it doesn't do you any favours. Yes, they pay you more for it, but it plays havoc with your natural circadian rhythm. Sleeping during the day tends to kill REM sleep. Sleep is usually broken and interrupted and dreams are less likely to occur because you, um, are, more, you are more dream active during REM sleep. Now, many of my colleagues on night shift who had been working night shift for longer periods of time, they all had one thing in common, health problems ranging from heart conditions, diabetes, heart, high blood pressure, etc, etc, etc. Shift workers also tend to have lower testosterone levels. Um, when I was um, dismissed from that night shift position and called into the office by the manager, um, he did state that um, during my time with the firm, more than 70% of that time I had been off on the sick. You know, is it any wonder? Night shift is a hazard to your health. Luckily for me, I had a health condition, PTSD, to fall back on. So I, it was relatively simple to get a sick note from the doctor for that purpose. Um, enough said there. Disrupting your natural circadian rhythm not only disrupts hormones, but it can create many health problems. We're not designed by nature to be awake at night or to be staying up late. I'm in bed now no later than 10pm and I am always awake at around 6am. I do not need an alarm call. It happens automatically and this is because I've established a natural circadian rhythm in line with earth and with nature having a lot of time off on the sick from that night shift position helped me um, no end in establishing that circadian rhythm. Now, we all know that when people fly long distances and cross many different time zones in a short space of time, 
they develop a condition known as jet lag. As a result, they experience trouble sleeping, daytime tiredness and impaired cognitive function. Now, having a disrupted or an unnatural circadian rhythm can have the same effect. All of this contributes towards a lack of REM sleep or reduced REM sleep, which is what we don't want because for hormone production, REM sleep is very important. Now, enough waffle. Um, here are some ways that you can get your natural circadian rhythm restored. Observing this natural rhythm will promote REM sleep. The ideal natural circadian rhythm is to go to sleep between 9 and 10 p.m., a bit early for many, but trust me, this is better, and to awaken between the hours of 5 to 7 in the morning. Now, first thing is um, gradually adjust your schedule. Start slowly instead of trying to change your sleeping times drastically by many hours difference all at once. For example, if you currently stay awake until 2 a.m. and then you try going to, to bed at 10 p.m., which is four hours prior to that, you're just going to be lying awake in bed, tossing and turning and unable to get to sleep. And, you know, this is going to have a detrimental effect. Now, adjust by an hour or less each day. Start by setting an alarm to get up an hour earlier than you usually do. And adjust by going to bed an hour, uh, hour or so earlier. And do this in little increments until your rhythm is established and, you've, and you're um, starting to get, go to bed earlier and to get up earlier. But make sure that you get up when that alarm goes. When that early alarm goes, just get up and get on with your day. Don't hit the snooze button or ignore any tiredness or anything. Now, another um, method is to get outside early in the day now and get some sunlight onto your face, into your eyes. Uh, the balcony, the garden, an open window or even the streets outside if you've got nothing else. Um, if you want to cultivate a habit of waking up early without an alarm, get light exposure first thing in the morning after you wake up. Sunlight works well to help reset circadian rhythms. Now, changing your meal times um, can be helpful too. If you eat meals, um, specifically a big dinner, at later times, this can shift your circadian rhythm to a stay up late cycle. Also, digestion and nutrient absorption is hindered if this is done during sleep. You are secreting insulin to digest food when you should be secreting hormones at this time. All of this contributes towards more disturbances in your sleep and less REM sleep because um, you ex tend to experience more REM sleep if your sleep is undisturbed. Digestion also uses up energy. Digesting heavy dinners while you are asleep will contribute towards not replenishing any energy levels efficiently while you're asleep because you're using energy to digest the food. To enter deep sleep while digest digesting a stomach full of food can also harm REM sleep. It's best to consume your last meal of the day at least two to three hours before you retire to bed. Now, another thing you can do in this respect is eating breakfast upon awakening or within an hour of waking up um, can help you shift your circadian rhythm to earlier. This earlier rhythm will help to manifest better hormone production. Now, drugs, alcohol, caffeine all disrupt sleep and they promote disturbed sleeping patterns and help to prevent deep sleep. An alcohol or re recreational drug induced coma after a heavy night out is not deep sleep. It might feel like it at the time, but it's not deep sleep. And avoid caffeine and all stimulants later in the day. Certainly never consume caffeine after midday or 2 p.m. at the very latest. You know, better still um, limit that to only the early mornings. If you are using stimulating supplements such as beta alanine, which some gym guys do, consume that in the morning because that's also a stimulant that can affect your sleep. 
Now, I hope that I do not need to go into recreational drugs and alcohol in any more detail. We all know that these are bad for you. They harm testosterone production anyway, but they also disrupt and disturb your sleep and your natural circadian rhythm. Avoid exercise late in the day because exercise spikes cortisol and your cortisol ideally needs to be lowered towards the end of the day to induce good sleep patterns. Spiking cortisol in the evening by training will disrupt your sleep patterns. Exercising regularly helps to promote healthy sleep and of course is good for us. But if you are trying to establish a, a natural early circadian rhythm, then consider training in the mornings. Now, when I used to train at a commercial gym, it opened at six o'clock in the morning and there were many guys who got in the gym early before work um, to get their training done. If you've got a, a regular office job, for example, and you're finishing at five, six o'clock in the evening, it may be a good idea um, to switch your training from the evenings to the mornings. Now you should ideally be observing a healthy cortisol cycle. This means that levels should be at their highest in the morning and you have more energy and should be at their lowest in the evening as you prepare for sleep. I put up a video about that on the channel if you want to check it out. Now this video did not get many views even though it's something that's absolutely vital for maintaining healthy testosterone levels. Um, another thing, uh, reduce artificial light exposure. Um, this is becoming more commonly known thanks to the Andrew Huberman, Andrew Huberman podcast. Now, especially um, later in the day, um, avoiding screen time. Exposure to artificial light sources when it is dark can disrupt our natural circadian rhythm and the Andrew Huberman podcast he's, there is an episode on his podcast which is really interesting and I highly recommend that you go search that out keep screen time to a minimum later in the day and if your device allows for it activate the blue light filter and have this activated for all times on my laptop my cell phone and my tablet I have the blue light filter activated for all of my devices now, dimming the lights in your home before bedtime or even meditating in the dark before bedtime can also be useful. If you have a light, you know, avoid using a light at the side of your bed as well. Now, usually when we go to sleep, we enter REM sleep around an hour or two after going to sleep. Now, when we enter REM sleep, our testosterone levels begin to rise and reach their peak and remain at the same levels until we awaken. We enter REM sleep typically three to five times throughout the night. The more time you spend in REM sleep, the more efficient hormone production will be. Now, the longer you stay asleep undisturbed without keeping waking up frequently throughout the night, the more time you will spend in REM sleep. Now, Throughout the night, as you progress through the night, I um, think the first instance of REM sleep usually lasts for anything between 10 minutes and 30 minutes. As you progress through the night, the periods of REM sleep tend to get longer. Now, all the nocturnal erections and brain activity and dreaming all tends to occur during REM sleep. Insomnia, sleep disorders and sleep deprivation all result in a lack of REM sleep. Undisturbed sleep is better. The longer we remain asleep for, the more REM sleep will occur. During an average uh, seven to eight hours of sleep, around 90 minutes to two hours of that should be REM sleep. Now, if you have any sleep disorder or medical condition that makes sleep difficult only if you have a disorder or condition melatonin is a good supplement for inducing deep sleep and has been found to be very effective if you have any kind of sleep disorder now again i will say this if you do not have problems getting to sleep sleep disorder underlying health condition of any kind do not use a sleep aid you know, rely on your natural melatonin production. And vitamin D, good old vitamin D, helps the body to produce natural melatonin, another benefit of vitamin D. 
a consistent and regular sleep pattern induces REM sleep. Going to bed at the same time, waking up at the same time, I mean by that. Keeping the bedroom cool and dark encourages undisturbed sleep. Using um, dark, thick curtains, blackout blinds or shutters over the windows to block out street lights is always a good idea. If you live in a noisy neighbourhood, also consider using earplugs because all those disturbances are going to affect your REM sleep. Diet is important for good sleep and it has been demonstrated that a diet high in fruits and vegetables and legumes can help you induce more REM sleep. Avoid canned legumes because they are processed food. Next time you're in the supermarket or if you have any in the cupboard at home, look at the ingredients list on those canned beans and legumes and see the list of shit that has been added to it. Processed foods contribute towards disturbed sleep. And why? Because when you eat processed foods, you're secreting toxins. Establishing a natural early circadian rhythm you know, that correlates to natural sunlight will improve REM sleep and your hormone production. It is a great useful addition to have in your armory when it comes to optimising your testosterone levels. Subscribe to this channel and follow this series for more.